After such and such a bad accident uh, last week in the happy hour, Kane Butler will have to miss races 8 and 9, but the doctors say that he will recover in time for race number 10, the last race of round 1. And then we are off to round 2 to race 1. Your pole winner was the number 2 car. He made a very good qualifying order uh, last week in happy hour and in qualifying. He wouldn't keep the lead for long because the 17 car by the help of the number 31 car would take the lead later on. But uh, a battle for first place, the number 2 car would take back the lead and the number 32 car, Leo Hogan, and the number 25 car are going 3 wide for second place, but the number 17 car drops uh, back a few spots. Later on, the number 25 car makes a pass on the inside to pass the 2 car for the lead, and he will be able to, uh, to, lead, to be the new leader for the next lap. This is a battle for second place, is number 2 car and the number 17 car. The 2 car, well by the help of the number 29 car, tries to make a pass in the inside though, but is unable to make the pass. Caution what happens on lap 5. This is an unusual accident and uh, NASCAR officials will have to look at this accident here because the 31 car has a problem with the number 32 car of Leo Hogan and uh, penalties are, are possibly going to get given to the number 31 car. Pit stops during the yellow flag goes to the number 31 car. Even though the number 31 car has made excellent finishes in the season, he's been having some bad luck at Michigan lately, and uh, he's going to have to uh, hit this lap for repair damage. On the restart, the number 25 car would take the lead, followed by the number 61 car in second place, and then the 2 car in third place. Gosh, in 2 happens in lap 10, we haven't even gotten a lap. Uh, this is a single car accident, as you can see the 15 car tries to make a pass, and the 13 car slides up onto the track and gets rear end damage. Let's take a rear end bumper view of the 13 car. Here comes the 15 car trying to make a pass, but he's unable to make a pass because he's way far down low and... Oh, there goes the camera. Ah, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's gonna take a while to fix that camera, I'll tell you that much. There's a front bumper cam with the number 15 car. He went way too low well down, down the track and he just decided to slide up on the... The car decided to slide up on the track and spin him out. Oh, and the 17 car just dodges a bullet there. Luckily, there was no damage except for the number 13 car. Pit stops occurred, and the number 13 car would be the only one to go in the pit lane, but unfortunately, unable to repair the damage because he was leaking fuel everywhere, and he would go behind the wall. On the restart, the number 2 car decides to take back the lead. This is followed by the number 29 car in 2nd place, and uh, in 3rd place the number 25 car, followed by the 61 car in 4th, and the 17 car in 5th place. This is going into the final lap, the number 61 car of Ashley Pro tries to battle for the lead, and the number 2 car, but the 17 car is deciding not to let Ashley win this race this time, and this is going on to the finish line, and it's a battle for the lead, it's going to be close, it's going to be close, the number 2 car will take his first victory in the Dega Cup Series. Followed by the number 61 car in second place and 17 car in third place. Finished in order. First is number two car, second Ashley Pro, number 17, number 25, number 29, number 32, the number 31, the number 15, the number 77, and the number 13 car, and the number 21 D car wasn't in the race. And that's going to the points and standings. That was all in one breath. I don't know if I could do the points standings, but I'll do it anyways. 
And your point to stand is for race number eight.